Hello, welcome to the new video from City Inc Express. Today I'm going to be showing you how to load your ACC profiles on a Windows PC in Photoshop Elements 2022. So I'm going to load up the software and we're going to click on File, New, Blank File. And in here will be where you select your paper type and your resolution. So for, I'm going to use A4, so it's 21, 29.7. The resolution we re recommend 300 and your color mode should say RGB color and background contents white. Now you can save this as a preset for those paper sizes and just by clicking save preset, you can type whatever you want in there, call it A4 if it's A4 or Morg or A3 and just name it in there. When you've named it, when you come back, it'll be, if you save it, it'll be in the drop down menu here. So that was the one I did earlier. So I'm just gonna click OK. I'm going to open up an image. Okay, so there are two steps to, to it. The first one is to tell the printer not to use its own color management. And the second step is to tell the software which software, uh, which color management or which ACC profile to use. So I'm going to go on file, print, and we're gonna select the print here, which is the C5210, and we're gonna go into the paper settings. So change settings, advanced. Now for me, I've been told to put it on plain paper, high quality, and custom advanced and i'm going to tell it not to use the it's current inbuilt acc no color adjustment and then personally i need to untick high speed so for sublimation printing we do recommend that and i need to print in mirror image because it needs to be in reverse for what i'm doing and then i'm going to click ok right so i've told the printer not to use its its own ACC. Now I'm going to tell the software. So I'm going to click on more options into color management. And you need to check here that it says Photoshop manages colors. When that's in place, these two won't be grayed out any longer. For sublimation printing, we recommend perceptual. And then for your printer profile, these are all the ACC profiles installed on your computer. You can scroll all the way up, all the way down and just make sure that, uh, well, you'll see it in there anyway. If it's not in there, there's a good chance that you haven't installed it in the right location. So you, what you'd need to do is you'd have to close the software completely, go back, double check your ICC is installed, it's in the right location, then reopen the software. You can't, uh, generally speaking, you can't install the ICC profile with the with the software open. It won't pick, won't pick the change up. So it's worth checking. So for me, I'm gonna select, that's the ICC profile I want, this one here, and I'm just gonna click OK, and it's done. So I can just press print, and it's now going to use the correct ICC profile. And that's it, thanks for watching.